in this video i'm going to be sharing with you some of the things you should consider before putting your child in a boarding school in nigeria if that sounds interesting to you let's get into the video hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you are seeing me for the first time hi how are you doing my name is furo please join the family by hitting that subscribe button turning on your notification bell giving this video a thumbs up and leaving your comments and your thoughts in the comment section we are all learning together so also leave your thoughts about things you will consider before joining a boarding house in nigeria so, so one of the things parents consider a lot before putting their children in boarding house in nigeria is probably the awards the school have gotten have they gotten cowboy award have they gotten this award the rotary award award and award and award a lot of parents have had to talk to that is all they have considered when putting their children in boarding schools one thing i want you all to understand is the award and everything this school has achieved in getting like intellectual awards are secondary yes because one thing you have to know is these awards were written by students that are smart students that have decided to put in the work to get this award but if your child is not smart or your child is not interested in those kind of studies or those kind of awards as little or nothing you can do although this, getting this award to you know show for the kind of children they produce is good but there are other important things you should consider before putting your child in boarding school in nigeria now everything i'm going to say here are my experience are things i think and um, please do not come for me in the comment section or oh, do not feel like you know past me we are all learning so you are free to leave your comments and your opinion in the comment section number one of the things i think you should consider before putting your child in a boarding school is the amenities what do they have what is the environment like what is the hostel uh, facility offering that is number one of the things you should consider before putting your child in a boarding school now if your house is like a duplex a mansion you should model a school that have that kind of structure to put your child you can't take your child off from a very beautiful environment where he or she has their own room or probably they have a room with a sibling and go put your child in a school where they'll be 13 or 50 in a long hostel that is torture to that child so if you have that kind of house you make sure that you put your child in a school where they offer something almost the same or even above your living environment in your own house you shouldn't put your child in a school that is lower than where you live because that is torture because this child has been used to this kind of life at home and you taking your child to put in a school that is lower than that is torture to that child so it's either you put your child in a school that is equal to the environment where you live or higher than the environment where you live other facilities like if you're somebody that you guys live with ac in your house you have ac all the time 24 hours you should also put your child in a school that offer ac 24 hours you can't take a child from a school a house that has 24 hours ac 24 hours of light and then you go put a child in a school that can't keep up with you know what the child is used to so you have to look at the amenities in the school number two you have to speak with parents you know scholars of that school parents ex-parents of that school before you put your child in a school what are their experience what do they have to say about the school especially people that have left the school somehow somehow you'll be able to find out people that have left the school you know thank god for social media you can post on your social media and, and say what do you guys think about this school you find out that a lot of parents who have had experience with this school will comment in your in your comment section and they will you know share their experience they will share their thoughts make sure you get review for any school 
you want to put your child do not just hear about a school because you like the school or because you like the stru structure or because the fees of the school you know equates with what you want to spend and then you put your child in the school no 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 make sure you get reviews and make sure you hear from scholars people in the school and people out of the school their parents their students especially students you know one thing about children is they are very very honest they will tell you the way it is they don't coat it they don't sugarcoat nothing so especially the children make sure you hear what they have to say so if you're putting your child in a boarding school look for children that have gone through boarding school in that school or children that are already in boarding school in that school make sure you hear what they have to say number three make sure you visit the school before you enroll your child very very important like make sure you visit the school before you enroll your child before you even buy the form or before you even take your child to that school for an exam make sure you visit the school before you enroll your child make sure you hear the principals you know feel what the principal or the owner of the school make sure you feel their spirit to know what they stand for what they believe in before you enroll your child now my next point is going to be very dicey but please don't judge me this is what i believe i know some people are going to come for me for this one i do not believe in putting my child in a religious based school because some of this religion are extreme so i believe in you know knowing god for myself or knowing my religion for myself if you're not a christian maybe you're a muslim or whatever know your god for yourself and teach your child I believe in putting my child in a normal school where they don't have any religion, where no pastor is laying hand on my child because I don't know what you're carrying. I don't know if I need my child to be laid hands on. I'll take my child to a pastor, them to lay their hands on my child, not bring my child to school and you lay your hands on my child. No. If I put my child in the school and I hear, if I, if, in fact, if I go to a school and I hear, oh, daddy will come so so day, just like this is how the pastors are referred to in Nigeria, daddy will come so so day to pray for the children, to do deliverance for the children, my child is out of that school. Because I feel religion based school are very, very extreme. And what I believe in might not be what you believe in so we might have different understanding of the religion and they might end up imbibing what i don't want in my child so i will not put my child in a religious based school the next one is before you put your child in a school be able to speak to the proprietors the proprietor the head of the school listen to what they have to say if it's a school that has one sidedness in their rules and their regulation please do not put your child in that school for instance what am i saying i had a conversation with a mom recently and i was saying to the child if if my child goes to a secondary school i have to go there at least once every week to see my child until when i'm sure that my child is comfortable before i can leave and the mom said to me the school that her kids go to they won't let you do that and i said to her if they will let me see my child every week at least for a month until when i feel my child is comfortably my child is out of that school and she said to me then they'll tell you take your child out of the school it's not only you that has a child out of the school i said then that school is not for me any school that they are uh, their, their, their rules and their regulation is one-sided you don't want to bend to my own side then my child is not coming to that school because to me i pay you yeah my fees i pay you if i don't pay you you will not be able to run that business so if i pay you then i cut the shot so if i want to see my child to make sure that my child is okay you have to give me that honor because i pay fees and also schools that will not let you call your child at least once every week these are things you should ask these are the things you should ask how frequently do i have to call my child if that school do not allow you to call your child every week please do not put your child in that school i do not believe in the fact that a lot of schools will say oh we're trying to make sure that the child does not miss home the child does not miss you so please don't talk to them that means you're trying to disconnect my bond with my child mm -mm. nobody can do that 
you have to let me talk to my child once every week at least so that even as my child is away we can still continue to build our relationship until they come back i do not want to stay away from my child for one month and by the time my child comes back from home he or she is looking like a stranger to me Mba. i have to talk to my child once every week and also you know this will help you you know know what is going on with your child if you talk to your child once every week even if your child is in harm your child is not eating or your child has a problem you you know one week is not going to kill that child before the end of the week you'll be able to know what's going on with the child learn how to tell your child go away from the teachers tell you what is wrong with you open up his mommy his daddy learn to tell your child those kind of things so that they can speak up to you so that you know when to stand up for them and when to you know speak up for them and also make sure that you 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 give your children that leveling ground that place where they trust you enough to know that oh my mommy is going to protect me my daddy is going to protect me they are not going to scold me they are not going to judge me for what i've done you know create that relationship between you and your child so your child will trust you to that level so your child can open up to you whenever they are having crisis or they are having problem in the boarding house i hope these few points help you to make the right decision on when putting your child in a boarding school please if you have not subscribed subscribe see you in my next video bye bye